Okay, so I um, wanted to show our power meter install. So you can see right there, um, what we did is we found room in the meter and we just did a little cutout for the meter and you'll see the back of that here in just a second. So I'll show you what this looks like. So obviously, you know, this is your power meter and you can see where the main is right here and that's important to remember and you'll see that that's like, it'll be the highest current one as well. Uh, for instance, that one is like your 30 amp and it actually says main right there. So that's important to remember. Now, of course, you want to be careful when you're doing this and not uh, have your power on. So um, that is pretty important. So I'm going to take this off and I'll show you how we did our install. Be careful with these doors, they tend to break. Uh, too. So this comes off real easy with clips there at the bottom. And uh, <clears throat> real simple, again, what I did was I went ahead and did the cutout and you'll see that there it's just a it's just kind of a little grid there so it was pretty easy to do um, and I made sure of course that I had rear clearance here that was important as well uh, the way that this hooks up uh, real simple and I'll turn around here so you can see this um, you can see that it's uh, relatively simple. You have your line and you have your sensor. So line, sensor, real simple. Um, that sensor goes up here and you'll see that loop right there, that red loop. So that's called an inductor loop. And that inductor loop, notice that it's on that 30 amp breaker up top. All we had to do was, uh, again, we were disconnected from power. We took that uh, loose we put it through the inductor loop and then put it back on the terminal for that breaker. So um, that senses how much current is running through that uh, loop and then of course brings it to your meter and your meter shows it. Uh, the other side of this all we did was uh, hook um, our neutral up to um, the bar where the neutral bar is and then took the other side and put it on one of the 15 amp breakers. So uh, real simple, there is power supplied here, this is live power and this is our inductor loop. And uh, once you're done I'll go ahead and show you what the what the readout shows here. One second. Put this back up. You can see how quick this comes off. It's actually it's relatively simple to do. And uh, that's good enough for now just to show you. Again, make sure you're disconnected from power. And don't just turn the breakers off. Go actually unplug from the outlet outside. Okay, and the information that this gives you is it shows current wattage being used. So right now we're using 450 watts. Um, the kilowatt hours, notice that says 3,417. So we've been using, um, on average, I, I don't recall what the average is. I'd have to look at my sheet. Um, but... Uh, each kilowatt is charged by your power company at a certain rate. So for instance, where we're at, it's about nine cents per kilowatt. So you can see over the lifetime, if you just say it's 10 cents per kilowatt, we, we've used 3,417.259. That ends up being about 340. And I've had this in service for maybe about uh, three months, three or four months. We wanted to know what our usage was. Uh, current amperage pull from the wall and the current voltage. And there is a reset button so you can reset it, but we wanted to um, you know, know what our usage was over time, so we just kept it that way. So uh, that's it. Um, real simple and easy installation. You can remote this. Um, you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. You could put it in the panel beside. You could, I just found it easier just to put it right in the panel. Um, so there you go. That's my installation.